हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर के एच तलाटी फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक गांधीनगर वर्किंग अंडर कमिश्नरेट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन गुजरात स्टेट टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ स्नेक इन द ग्रास द शॉर्ट सेकेंड शॉर्ट स्टोरी आफ्टर माई लॉस डॉलर एंड द ऑथर ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट स्टोरी इज आर के नारायण सी दिस पिक्चर एंड जस्ट इमेजिन इफ यू सी अ स्नेक इन ग्रास हेयर यू कैन सी द स्नेक वॉज लिफ्ट अप इज हेड बट इफ इट ड्रॉप्स इज हेड डाउन एंड मूव इन साइड द ग्रास कैन यू इमेजिन इफ समबडी टेल्स यू दैट यू गो इन साइड दिस ग्रास वॉट वुड हैपन ए नंबर ऑफ थाट्स वुड देयर रश आउट इन योर माइंड दैट द स्नेक मे बी हेयर देयर इट मे बी हिडन समवेयर एल्स एंड यू वुड बी सो फ्राइट एंड सो फ्यूरफुल दैट रेयरली यू वुड हैव दैट करेज टू गो एंड फाइन द स्नेक ओवर देयर this simple thought and with this idea rk narayan has very nicely written the sto- short story a snake in the grass see this is the person rk narayan who has written the story and we are going to talk about him let's see rk narayan he was born in 1907 and he just died in 2001 as a well known south indian novelist he is not only a novelist he is an essayist also and wrote short uh, story writer in english he has tremendous capacity for portraying the varied indian lifestyle you know india is full of diversity here we have different lifestyle regional effects are different languages have different and everything whatever he has, that is he has tremendous capacity for portraying all those different variety of indian lifestyle and particularly of those people whose psychology and background he is more familiar with so he has studied the psychology of people and particularly of those with whom he is more familiar he is more he is more known to them to those people and this has made him a very very good short story writer how he narrates he narrates with skill the irony comic tragic and laughable aspects of indian life without taking sides R K Narayan as a short story writer or as an essayist he is so neutral that he has got that capability that skill that ability to show the ironic comic tragic and laughable aspects of indian life that is how we people this that is how we indians think about life we have so many misconceptions like superstitions and blind beliefs and without taking sides being a very neutral person he narrates it with skill and his mastery over english language is so marvelous that he can convey the subtlest and most complex shade of thoughts that is whatever the smallest thought that has been running in your mind during a particular period or a particular circumstance or a particular situation all those shades of thoughts feelings and emotions he is able to narrate it with very great ease and that famous like the famous story writer o henry r k narayan stories to end with an unexpected twist r k narayan he has got that ability even he has got that mastery of english language in very 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 at a very simplest way like o henry he has got that tint in him to show all those things running in a person's mind he may be a common person or whatever he may be he may be a familiar with that person but he is able to narrate everything with very simplicity with english language and as with o henry his stories also end with an unexpected twist all of a sudden at the end of the story you find okay what has happened what the change what now my god what's this these are the different types of uh, i would say feelings you had after after reading rk narayan's story so now let us begin with the story it starts on a sunny afternoon when the inmates when the inmates here inmates means the residents all those who were dwelling in that bungalow or were at their siesta siesta here means afternoon rest or nap so after taking your afternoon lunch normally we indians believe that it is good to have a small sleep a small rest for half an hour or so so that was a time of leisure and during that leisure time what happens is cyclist rang his bell at the gate 
a cyclist was passing by and he rang his cycle's bell at the gate frantically and announced frantically that is all of a sudden and with with all his force he started uh, ringing his bell cycle tin 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 and he, what he announced that is see this fellow is passing by he passed through the gate and frantically he announced now see the announcement a big cobra has got into your compound that is his announcement was that a big cobra has got into your compound he might have shouted so frantically with 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 such emphasis and to put it that yes it crossed my wheel that is the snake just passed by my wheel and it has entered your compound to make it more effective he says he pointed it its track under the gate and resumed the journey resumes means to take or occupy that is this is the person with whom the story starts this fellow passing by he shouts a big cobra has entered into your compound it crossed my wheels he even shook the track of the snake in the mud that see you can see even the track of the snakes that i am not telling wrong the snake has already entered your compound and after saying this after throwing this idea of snake in our mind that fellow again he resumed his journey and the family that was staying in that bungalow that was consisting of four sons so the family consisting of the mother and her four sons assembled as soon as you hear something that a snake has entered into your compound it's very obvious that you can't stay in your normal mood and so all the four sons with their mother they gathered at the gate in great agitation andras now what to do where is the snake it is such a big compound where it might be it may be in this corner it may be in that corner whether it's a poisonous snake or what or whether whether it is a non poisonous snake but how could you know that and the snake is hidden somewhere else these people they can't see it so it becomes an unrest situation for these people see see the ability of rk narayan's narration that the the whole family the whole family is now under a complete state of unrest now this family the family was consisting of four son and the mother they had a servant named dasa during the whole story if you see this is the only person whose name is mentioned nowhere else no other characters name are given so the whole story is revol- revolving around this dasa and he is the servant of the family so when that cyclist came and when he announced that a big cobra has entered into your compound at that time the family members were also sleeping they were having their nap and even dasa who was sleeping in the shed at the arrival of the cobra he was also sleeping he was having his own own, own rest time so they shook him out of sleep now the four sons and the mother didn't have that courage to see where the snake is they were too frightened they were afraid so what they did was and normally what we also do that if we have a servant we would shook him out out of sleep and informed him about the cobra that see you are working at our place so now it is your responsibility to find out where the cobra is and all these five that is the four sons and one one mother they escaped from finding that snake due to the fear of snake whether it may bite so the dasa he was in sleep he said there is no cobra he replied to dismiss the matter he also took this very leisurely okay there may be no cobra he wanted to have a sleep he was having a very sound sleep maybe so to dismiss the whole matter to rub up the whole matter he said there is no cobra the family members swore you know swore to take off okay on the name of so deity or the name of such deity they said we are not telling you wrong on the name of this god i am telling you i am swearing on that god's name that there is a cobra in our compound and that cyclist he told that it cross and see you can see the uh, tracks also of that cobra over here and they forced him to take interest in the matter to take interest in the matter now do something if a cobra is entered into your in our compound as a servant what are the things that are to be done by you you should take a step you should search it you should throw it out or you should kill it what so matter but just take us out of this problem the thing is somewhere here if it is not found before the evening we will dismiss you see the family members how rude they are they don't want to search the 
cobra. They want their servant to search the cobra. So now they are threatening him that before evening, if you are not able to find out that cobra, then we will dismiss you out of job. You won't be here in this bungalow as a servant again. You are neglect of the gar- your neglect of the garden and loan is responsible for all this dreadful that is full of fear things coming in. You are a lazy servant. You are not doing anything. Your neglection toward the garden and loan is responsible. So you are responsible. You are not doing your work properly, and that is why these type of creatures that is full of fear. You know, scorpions, uh, snakes. We all are uh, all are afraid of, and it is your neglection that has brought this creature inside the compound. Now, hearing to all this shouts and roars and all these things, a high-pitched talking of the four sons, the mother and the servant. By the time the neighbors heard this, and the neighbors they dropped in, they visited. See, this is a common scenario what we see. If we find two people fighting somewhere, just within moments or so, you see a crowd of people gathered over there to know what happened, and everyone who comes over there. What happened? Who is at fault? Who started this? They sh- these people they should do like this. They so so everyone tries to interfere. The neighbors also at the same time they came in and they wanted to know exactly what happened and see what the neighbors say. They all accused that is they all blamed Dasa. What they said, you have the laziest servant on earth. They said he ought to keep the surroundings tidy. That is clean. They all started accusing Dasa. They all started blazing, uh, blaming Dasa, that this servant of yours named Dasa, he is the most laziest servant on earth. And see, the servant is meant for the bungalow, but the neighbors say that he ought to keep the surroundings tidy. Now, surroundings, the neighbors stay. The servant doesn't have to clean the surroundings. That is the surroundings of the neighbors also. But they want their their houses nearby also to be cleared by this servant. This is an Indian mentality, and this is what a very tiny, minute observation of R. K. Narayan. Dasa, he is. It was his turn. He said, "I have been asking for a grass cutter for months. He was not ready to take up the blame." He was not ready to take up the accusation made on him. He said, "From months I have been asking to a grass cutter so that I could clear off the surroundings so that such creatures like snakes and uh, scorpions wouldn't enter the compound." But in one voice, the neighbors and the family members ordered Dasa to manage with the available things and learn not to make demands. See, we want everyone that is our servants. all those people who are working under us we want them to obey our orders every time so all the neighbors because when you want to bring a grass cutter you need money and nobody wants to spend money behind um, uh, a servant you want them that okay whatever the difficulties you face that is your problem but any have come out with a solution but dasa persisted that is he was insistent he constantly said any how i want a grass cutter all began to speculate that is to reflect how much it would cost to buy a grass cutter all the neighbors the four sons and the mother they all started assuming okay how much would be a grass cutter now for example if you go to the market would it be of 100 rupees would it be of 500 rupees or would it be even if you purchase in second it would be less than that they started to speculate can you remember what is the actual problem the snake that has entered the compound everyone has forgotten about that see the indian mentality here reflected by r k narayan he means to say that we have totally forgotten what actually we have to do instead we have started discussing about different trivial things which is not actually meant for this time a neighbor declared that you could not you could not think of buy think of buying an article made of iron till after the war now one of the neighbors and we can say an intelligent person he said that you shouldn't buy in any article till after the war because at that time uh, the war was in progress 
and this neighbor chanted banalities that is to repeat rhythmically every time anything would come it is war time so there is no need to buy any such things because at war time the prices go very high and that also specially of metals because metals are normally at that time supplied to uh, the factories to make different kind of weapons so now in the public market metal things are very very costly so don't think of buying a grass cutter see this is one of the argument going at that time the second son of the house asserted now just imagine when you are with your friends once you put a argument that these things are not available you would find at the same time one of your friend arguing okay bet with me i'll bring you whatever the thing you want at a very 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 low cost so the second son of the house asserted that he could get anything he wanted at controlled prices as your friend the second son also says that i can get anything just name it and i'll bring it at a very controlled price the neighbors became eloquent that is forceful on black market during the war and a heated debate followed everyone started sharing everyone started their knowledge whatever they had in their mind regarding war time banalities and everyone was putting on their own argument in front of others but there were some people also they normally you see in a crowd they don't do anything they are audience they watch in the same way the rest watch with apathy apathy means they are not like completely inside in the classroom also we find many of the students they have absence of passion or emotion they stay there they normally look that okay what is going on this person is talking to the other person the other person is talking to the next person they go on simply hearing and watching everything but they don't have their own contribution so the rest watched with apathy at this point the college boy of the house butted that is butted means to interrupt at this point the college boy of the house butted in and what he said see he is sharing his knowledge i read in an american paper that 30000 people die of snake bite every year see the emphasis he puts in 30000 people die of snake bite every year and he quotes this american newspaper see the effect of the statement mother threw up her arms in horror and arraigned and blamed dasa now it is the mother and you know very well that when it comes to mother and children the mother is the only i would say entity in this whole world who whatsoever happens never thinks wrong or thinks any bad thing for their children and she was so terrified she was in such a horror and she blamed dasa that all these things that are happening it is just because of your negligence if you would have taken care if you would have <coughs> sorry cut the glass timely these things wouldn't come in now you have put up is in danger and now it is your responsibility to take away or kill whatever you do but any way clear of my compound and let the snake out of this house premises the boy still he doesn't end the boy elaborated in detail the statistics he started working out the maths see i worked out 83 a day if 30000 in 365 days that is in one day 83 people die of snake bite again he comes to a minute calculation that means every 20 minutes someone is dying of cobra bite see the statistics come to be at a very micro level he tells that every 20 minutes someone is dying of cobra and see what he says more as we have been talking here one person has lost his life somewhere now see 20 minutes have already passed the cobra is there still in the garden nobody knows where it is now instead of searching the cobra instead of finding it where it is is it there or it is hidden somewhere else or has it gone out instead of making sure these people they are going on a very heat heated debate and listening to this mother nearly screamed on hearing it my god is it such that every 20 minutes a person would die and here already there is a cobra it may happen that it may bite someone over here and the compound looked sinister totally bad 
totally evil, totally grave. The people became very serious. Everyone was just on his toe, very alert that what would happen next. Everyone were looking to each other in a way that now what would happen? The snake would come from left, from right, from north, from east, from south. Nobody knows from where it would come. And that grave a total sinister look to the compound. Now, the boys brought in bamboo sticks. Everyone now thought that it is time to do something. If nothing is done, the cobra is now in the compound. It may enter the house and the danger would rise. So the boys brought in bamboo sticks and pressed one into the hands of the servant. See, they didn't want to do it themselves. So first thing what they did, they handed that bamboo stick one in the servant's hand, whose name is Dasa, that you should be the first person and you, has to, you have to take that bamboo stick and start searching where the cobra is. It is your first duty as a servant. So Dasa also, it was compulsory for him. As this fellow, that is the four sons and the mother, they had uh, threatened him that up to evening time, if you are not able to find out the cobra, we are going to dismiss you. So Dasa kept desultorily, that is without any logical connection. So without any making, he went into the garden and the grass, he started poking, poking that is pushing into the foliage, foliage that is the leaves that are there in the garden as the garden was not swept properly and with the foliage there is a cynical air as if he used to push the bamboo over there whether the snake is here. Again he would go to the right hand side and see the snake may be here because every time there was a fear in his mind. He was frightened. It may be the bamboo stick would hit the snake and again the, with the hood the snake would wake up and bit him. Now the others were uh, watching him the fellow is beating about the bush. Someone cried aptly. Someone saw that he is not doing his work properly. He is a bit careless. He is frightened. He is not honest towards his work. So everyone, they tucked up. Tucked up means pulled up. And as this is a South Indian story, they tucked up their dhotis. Seized. That is, they took possession of every available thing. That is, it was whether it was a knife or a crowbar and began to hack the garden. Here you have a word crowbar. What does crowbar mean? See, this is the picture of a crowbar. Normally it is used in gardening. So, even they took up the crowbar also and they started working. What they did? Whatever the creepers were there in the garden, bushes, the, bro the bushes that were near the compound and the loan that was there in the garden, everything was laid low. That is, everything was cut to a level that you can see everything very clearly. What that could not be cut, could not be trimmed was cut to root. Whatever they were not able to cut up to a particular point. So these people, they simply took out of the root. They put out whatever the plants they were so that they could see clearly where the snake is. Now, see the result of all these people, the neighbors, the sons who were, and the servant who were working over there, the creepers were taken out, the bushes were taken out, so the inner walls of the house brightened with the unobstructed glare, that is the light that was coming of the sun, because the creepers were there, because the bushes were there, so the house was not totally brightened by the light, the light was interrupted and when the creepers and bushes and all these things were cleared off, unobstructed light was there in the house and the walls looked brightened. When there was nothing to be done, more done, Dasa asked triumphantly, see everything was clear now. Everybody they saw that the creepers have been taken out, the bushes have been taken out, the grass, the lawn was trimmed. So the snake was not visible over there. Dasa asked in a very winning mood, with sense of winning, very traveller, a question full of confidence. Where is the snake? See, we have cleared off everything. All of you are witness. We all have worked together. Tell me now, do you see the snake anywhere? And there was no snake at that time. When this talk was just discuss the matter being discussed with the people where is the snake at that time an old beggar cried for alms alms means donation give me some money maybe one rupee two rupee five rupee and that old beggar she was at the gate 
and these people they told the beggar all told the beggar not to pester that is please don't put us in trouble as we people are engaged in a snake hunt that is see these people they mean to say that we are doing such a big thing and you are coming for a we are very trivial donation trivial arms you are coming here to beg at this time can't you see that we people are busy engaged in searching the snake where the snake is hidden see this is the beggar who came over there and she cried for arms now this is something a hint a clue given to the beggar normally beggars also have a psychology they see to people to whom to ask donation they can read their facial psychology so a point was given to this beggar and see how this beggar is exploiting that point the old woman became happy see the lady the old woman who was there as a beggar she became very happy and why she became very happy see the words she is using she is telling to the neighbors the four sons <coughs> sorry and to the mother you are fortunate see you are very lucky it is god subramanya who has come to visit you don't kill the snake she thought that the beggar is now telling that see lord subram subramanya he has come to your place so don't kill you rather need to worship that god and mother heartily agreed and normally mothers are very religious she agreed to that okay 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 and she might have announced also that okay son and neighbors please don't harm that snake don't kill it and what she said you are right i forgot all about the promised abhishekam this is a reminder this is what abhishek is as this month is of shravan and today is monday so every monday people visit the shiva temple and they try to give an abhishek that is they give abhishek of milk also of water also so the mother said yes long back i had made up my mind that i would go for an abhishek and due to the a uh, hectic time i was not able to go so so the snake has come lord subramaniam has visited my house it has come to my house to remind me that i have forgotten the abhishekam see these are the blind beliefs that we indians have in our mind these are the normal superstitions we have in our mind and there are such beggar like people who are there to exploit it so mother was very satisfied with whatever the beggar woman had said mother gave a coin to the beggar as satisfied she gave a coin and th- who promised to send down a snake charmer as she went so within a very short time the woman beggar she got a coin without doing much labor she had simply to say that a lord subramaniam has entered and please you don't harm the snake don't kill the snake and the mother was very happy and what the beggar did that okay i am doing is i am going down and i am sending a snake charmer he would be there to help you moments later an old man appeared at the gate and announced himself as a snake charmer you might have seen what a, a snake charmer we call in gujarati is madari normally if he comes at your gate he would have that that small bamboo basket and him and inside he would put a snake nowadays it is banned but this 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 man that is a snake charmer now he is is something a man of surprise he is something a man of amazement normally when we see him we get surprised because his dress code is something different he has got a uh, you can say something a flute like um, instrument with him he would play and make the snake also play with it so all they gathered around him that now this is the person is going to help him this is the person who is going to now bring out the snake anyhow and though the snake may be poisonous or non poisonous but this is the man who would be able to tackle the snake properly see this is a snake charmer and normally the instrument that you see in his hand he normally plays it and you can see a snake in front of him it would just broaden up its hood and as the bean would move as the instrument would move the snake all would move his head left to right the snake charmer spoke about his life and activities and his power over snake now this man he started telling about him okay so you have a snake over here fine 
Now, all my life I've been doing the same activities, catching snakes from here and there, and I then uh, let them go in their habitation in the forest or in a uh, place where they could live safely. And he, he would show that whatsoever snake it is, whether it is a big cobra snake or whatsoever snake, I have got that capability to manage and I would catch it. I mean, he might also have narrated incidents about it. People were very much impressed about him. They asked him admiringly, how do you catch, how do you catch them? See, everyone has a question. Everyone has a question in the mind. How does a snake charmer catch a snake? Now, at that time, you can't show that practically because practically you need a poisonous snake over there. And in front of many people, there is no guarantee whether the snake would be there. It would run away somewhere else and it would harm or it would beat someone else. So everything here comes in imagination. We have got that curiosity. How do you catch them? So on hearing this, he, he said pouncing upon a hypothetical, that is supposed snake on the ground. Now, this is a thing, something to imagine. Just imagine that you, there is a snake charmer in front of you and you ask him a question that how do you catch a snake? So hypothetically he would behave, he would, he would, he would make an environment as if there is a snake over there. He would tell you, see there is a snake. It is just upon his hood. And then with a snake he would pounce on that snake as if he is going to catch the snake. They pointed at the direction in which the cobra had gone. So these people now they felt, okay, this snake charmer is capable to catch any type of snake. So all of them, they pointed that, okay, there is the place where the cobra had gone. So it is now your duty and whatever the ability and capacity you said about yourself, it is now time to prove. So my dear snake charmer, you go there and catch that cobra. Now see the reply they are getting from the snake charmer. He looked helplessly about and said, see, he all of a sudden becomes helpless. Why? See, see, if you show me the snake, I'll catch it. Otherwise, what can I do? That is, I don't have that ability. I don't have that capacity of catching snakes that are hidden. I want a snake that is in front of me and then and then as I showed you in the same way I can catch the snake. So I am helpless now. I can't help. And see the other conversation what he says. The moment you see it again send for me I live nearby. See made a very big excuse. See the snake is not visible. You people don't know that you have got such a big compound in which corner he might be. And he is not seen also. And I am not able to catch the snake when I am not able to see it. If it is there in front of me, then and then I can catch it. So, what you must do is, the moment you see it again, the moment you see the snake in whatever corner of your house, you can send for me. And I don't live far, I live nearby. He gave his name and address and then the snake charmer left. So again, we have the same situation as it was prevailing before. Again, the neighbors, the sons and the mother and Dasa, everyone under confusion. Now, what has to be done? Nobody knows that this snake, nobody knew that this snake charmer would come and behave in such a way that if I have the snake in front of me, then and then I am able to catch it. But now the situation changes. At five in the evening, they threw away their sticks and implements and returned to the veranda to rest. So it is now five o'clock. Remember the threatening for Dasa. If you don't find the snake before evening, they are going to dismiss him. Could you remember? Because so many events after that, they are simply coming by. This might have skipped your mind. At 5 in the evening, everyone, the neighbors, the son, they threw their sticks and whatever the implements, the knife and crowbar, whatever they had, they threw it up and returned to the veranda to rest because everyone was exhausted now. Everyone was tired of searching the snake. They did their best. They might have searched out each and every corner of the compound, but they couldn't find the snake. 
So now it was time for rest and they might have believed that the snake has gone somewhere else. It is not here in the compound. What happens next? They had turned up every stone in the garden and cut down every glass, grass blade and shrub so that the tiniest insect coming into the garden should have no cover. They had cleared up the garden up to such an extent that even a tiniest insect that would be coming into the garden, it was very easy to see that. It was clearly visible. This should be done earlier. So normally we Indians have that tendency that things that are to be done at a particular time, we don't do that. But when a problem comes, we do it. See, this is an example narrated by R.K. Narayan. They were loudly discussing the various measures that would take to protect themselves against reptiles. Again, you can see. Again, the Indian mentality is visible over here. R.K. Narayan is focusing it very well. And again, you can see the, his minute observations. Now these people are free. They have turned up every stone in the garden. They have cut down every blade in the garden. As we said earlier, we saw earlier that even the tiniest insect that would follow that come that would come into the compound, it was clearly visible. So they had time to talk and they started discussing that what type of measures should be taken if these type of creatures they enter to be come down. So everyone was giving out their own ideas that we should do like this, we should do like that. During the discussion was in progress. Dasa appeared before them. Who appeared? Dasa appeared before them, carrying a water pot whose mouth was sealed with a slab of stone. A surprising scene for everyone. Dasa was holding a water pot in his hand and the water pot's mouth that was sealed, that is a slab of stone, was kept on the mouth of the water pot. Number of questions in everybody's mind. Why is Dasa carrying this water pot? Why is that slab of stone kept on the mouth of the water pot? Has he brought water or what he has brought in this water pot? Everyone is surprised, totally shocked, amazed and they are looking at Dasa. See, now think, this is the water pot. You can see a snake also coming out of that. It's a simple mere question of imagination. He put down and said, I have got him in this. He very slowly, very tenderly, very delicately, he puts down the pot so that it doesn't break down. And he says, I have got him in this. I saw him peeping out of this. I saw him before he could see me. Dasa is narrating the whole situation that see how dangerous, how risky situation I have been fighting with. And anyhow, as a servant, I have managed this situation that I saw this snake peeping out of the water pot's mouth. So I took a stone slab and before the snake could see me, before the cobra could see me, before the cobra would take any type of action, before the cobra would come and bite me, I was more alert. I was more attentive on him. I focused so much and I put the slab on the mouth of the water pot. And now the snake is jailed or you can say confined in the water pot. He explained at length the planning he had employed. That is whatever the thing, the pain, the efforts that he took to catch that snake and to seal up the pot because he had to search a slab of stone. At the same time, he had to put an eye, put a vigil on the snake, whether the snake wouldn't see him. Now, he completely explained at length, completely in detail, he elaborated that this was the planning that I had employed to catch and seal up the snake in the pot. They all stood at the on the pot a safe distance and gazed. Everyone stood far away the moment they came to know that there is a snake in the pot. Everyone moved five, six steps back and they started gazing. They start gazing at this at the pot from a very safe distance because they thought at any time the snake would raise up its hood and the uh, stone slab would fall and the snake would come, come out. It may bite anyone. 
Everyone was afraid, but they listened to Dasa and his imaginative story. Dasa had the glow of a champion on his face. Now see, these people right from the earlier stage, when Dasa was sleeping from the same moment, they thought that as a servant it is your duty to catch the snake and you are the laziest servant on the earth that was labelled by the neighbours. So this title of laziest, this title of idler, this title of good for nothing, this title that you are useless, this title that you don't do anything, he has totally washed out all those labels given to him and he had the glow of a champion on his face. Don't call me an idler here after he said, see I have proved myself. <clears throat> Anyhow, I have now the snake confined in that water pot. You don't people have any right to tell me idler hereafter. Mother complimented him on his sharpness. That is, mother was very happy. She was totally relaxed now. And she wished she had placed some milk in the pot as a sort of religious duty. Now, one point is, mother is complimenting Dasa. Very good. You have done a very great job. And really you are very sharp. Otherwise, it would be very difficult. And it is very difficult to confine a snake or a cobra into a water pot. And this is what you have done. <coughs> At the same time, she also wished she had placed some milk. Now you can see the belief, the Indian religious belief that whenever a cobra would come, it is our religious duty to give him milk. Now mother wants to put milk in that pot as a sort of religious duty. See the blind belief and superstitions we have in our mind. Rather we can say that it is in our blood. I don't know how many years it would take to clear off this type of blind beliefs and superstitions. So as soon as Dasa, Dasa picked up the pot cautiously. Why he picked it up? Because he saw it may be the mother would now tell him that okay Dasa put this small bowl of uh, milk into the pot. So he picked up the pot cautiously and walked off saying that he would leave the pot with its content with the snake charman living nearby. He said, okay, now the whole story is over. The whole fuss is over. The problem is over now. The trouble that you had that the snake is here in the compound, everything is over. And as the cha snake charman has given his name and his address and he lives nearby, I'll give this pot, hand it over to him and tell him that, okay, now you can do whatever you like with the snake. But now we are out of problem. And all these people, that is the neighbor, the son, the mother, with great admiration, they watched and decided to reward him adequately, that is properly. All the neighbors said, okay, we people called him a laziest, uh, laziest servant on earth. We people labeled him an idler. But see, exactly your servant is not like that. And it is very difficult nowadays to have such a type of servant who would risk his own life to catch a snake. So, they all were deciding that, okay, you should reward him in a very adequate, that is, whatever you give, that should be proper to whatever the work he has done. It was just five minutes since Dasa was gone. These people, they were busy discussing that adequate reward should be given to him, proper reward should be given to him. When the youngest servant cried, see there. They all were talking. And the youngest son of the family, he cried, see there. What they saw? Out of a hole in the compound wall, a cobra emerged. Emerge means came out. There in the compound wall, a cobra emerged. See, this is the scene. This is not the actual photo of a cobra, but you can imagine that out of a compound wall, the cobra, it emerged. It glided along towards the gate, paused for a moment. That is, it slipped down the gate, towards the gate, waited for a moment to look at the gathering in the veranda. That is, the cobra was watching the people in the veranda with his half hood open. You can see the neck portion of the cobra, normally of the cobra, the, it would spread, that is called the hood. It crawled under the gate and disappeared along a drain. Now, 
the cobra had gone a question was there when they recovered from the shock they asked does it mean that there were two snakes here then what did dasa take if dasa says that there is one snake in the power in the water pot then where did the second snake come from it was a question the college boy murmured i wish i had taken the risk and knocked the water pot from dasa's hand we might have known what it contained so everyone is under confusion the time has gone nobody knows see the dasa he is so very well exploiting that what to do when to do and how to do so that the people who are in such blind belief they can be cheated easily and how he has cheated the family members nobody knew whether there was snake or not whether he was telling the truth or not anyhow this is the end of this story thank you very much